Here's how to activate Apple intelligence on your iPhone. Now, if you have a newer iPhone and you wanted to get all the new features associated with Apple intelligence and the AI that is built into your newer iPhone, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now keep in mind, there are some limitations here. There are two requirements. One is that you need an iPhone 16, any iPhone 16, or an iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max. Only these phones are allowed to get Apple intelligence. If you have one of those phones, let's head into your settings. We'll tap on general and software update. You also need iOS 18.1 or later. You can see the current build is iOS 18.3.1. Just update to the latest version. After you've done all that, you can go back out of here and you can see under action button is Apple intelligence. So tap on that. And you can see at the very top, turn this feature on. Now, if this is the first time that you're turning this on, keep in mind, it might say that you have to join a wait list. Essentially what this means is it'll just take 10 minutes to a couple hours to activate, and then you'll get a notification that you can start using it. You can see right here is 0% complete. It does need to download data onto your iPhone. So as soon as you turn it on, all of the functionality and features won't be immediately accessible. You will need to download everything. You can see it downloaded pretty quick on my phone. Now you can basically find that it is working because if you tap and hold on that side button, you should see the entire outside screen kind of varies highlights in colors. So you can see the entire screen and the surrounding of it has all of those colors, as opposed to previously, it had that little Siri icon at the very bottom. That's an indication that Apple intelligence is set up and running on your iPhone and you can start to use it. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.